Hey there, Smobot owner. This is Curtis from the Smobot team. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your Wi-Fi on your Smobot so it will connect to your home network when it's turned on. Connecting Smobot to your home Wi-Fi will allow you to monitor your Smobot's cooking anywhere you are. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug our Smobot in. When it comes up, we're going to look at the bottom and write down the ID of our unit. We'll use that later for registration. Once you have your Smobot turned on, you can open up settings on your computer or your mobile device. We're going to go to Wi-Fi and we're going to look for the Smobot Wi-Fi. We're going to click on it and make sure that our device connects to it. Here we have a blue check mark. You might see where it says unsecured network or no internet settings. That's fine. From there, we're going to exit out of settings. We're going to open up a mobile browser. You notice that our smobot.com webpage didn't come up because my iPad is now connected to the smobot and not to the internet. We're going to go to the address bar and we're going to type in 192.168.4.1 and we're going to hit go. This brings up the web page of the smobot. It has a little web server in it that uh, is showing us its current information. In the upper right hand corner we're going to click on Wi-Fi and we notice we see a lot of um, Wi-Fi networks listed. <clears throat> I'm going to look for my home network. Oh, well, there it is, my home network. Now, if you don't see any networks listed, the first thing to check is that if you have an HP printer. If you have an HP printer, go turn it off and start this process over. I'm going to now click on my home network and I'm going to enter the password. Network passwords are case sensitive, so please make sure you use the proper uppercase and lowercase letters. And we're going to hit connect. If I've put my password in correctly, we should see the little spinning wheel and the blue light on the front of the Smobot turn on. Also, you might see that the network name is highlighted in blue. If either one of those two things happens, then you've successfully connected the Smobot to your Wi-Fi. At this point, you can unplug your Smobot. We're going to go back to our network settings and connect to our home network. Now that we're connected back to our home network and on the internet, we can open up our browser again and go to mysmobot.com. Here we're going to create an account. I'm going to type in my email address. I need to choose a username. Usernames need to be all lowercase and something simple you'll remember. And a simple password. Select that you're not a robot and hit register. Now we're going to go check our email. Smobot will send an email to your email address that you'll need to click on the link. Now the last step is we need to type in the ID of the Smobot that we wrote down earlier. Okay, we're all registered. Now we can see our Smobot is online and uh, in manual mode. Before we start a cook, we need to make sure we push the auto button on the front of the Smobot, which will allow it to start controlling. The last step is you can go to the App Store for your app and you can search for Smobot. And you can download the Smobot mobile app. I've already downloaded the app, so we're going to launch the app. And we're going to log in. There we are. Now with the mobile app, you can set alarms and monitor your cook. That's it. We hope you enjoy your using your Smobot. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support.smobot.com or send us an email at support at smobot.com.